DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It's an independent division of the Pentagon that works on far out science and technology projects. I think one of the more bizarre episodes was in the 1960s when the CIA discovered that the uh, Russians, or actually the Soviets at the time, were irradiating the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. And there was emerging literature at the time that microwaves could influence behavior, or perhaps be a, um, an implement of mind control. So DARPA started a top secret project at the behest of the White House called Project Pandora, which was experimenting on monkeys to see if microwaves could indeed be used as a weapon of mind control. But the scientists and the review board that was brought in to look at the work said, look, I mean, that, that it wasn't going to be a mind control weapon. And in fact, what was discovered is that the Soviets were irradiating the U.S. Embassy in Moscow, not as a method of mind control, but, but quite simply to activate listening devices that had been built into the walls so of conventional eavesdropping. Um, another really bizarre episode on the other side of the spectrum was in the 1970s, when the CIA at the time was um, sponsoring parapsychology experiments, um, particularly with the Israeli magician Yuri Geller, known for spoon bending, and bending spoons with his mind. And DARPA was asked to look at the work that was being funded at a contractor on the West Coast out in California called the Stanford Research Institute to see if there was anything to this parapsychology work that the CIA was doing. And DARPA sent out one of its scientists, a program manager, to look at the work and to see if there was something there. Um, DARPA decided to stay out of the parapsychology work. Which I think the most sort of exotic one when it comes to technology um, was this plan to create a planet-wide force field to stop ballistic missiles from attacking well, anywhere but really the United States. And the idea was that you were going to explode you know, hundreds of nuclear weapons in space that would release these killer electrons that would fry ballistic missiles. And so it was going to be almost sort of like a, a force field. And um, this was one of DARPA's first projects when it was created in 1958, and it was called Project Argus. A nuclear bursts in a vacuum of space through a shell of radiation around the Earth within an hour. It was called the greatest experiment ever conducted. I mean, this, the whole idea of it was really quite phenomenal. And, you know, DARPA officials at the time argued that the science behind it was sound, uh, but it wasn't going to make for a force field. Basically, these killer electrons would sort of decay too quickly to be a force field. Um, so that went nowhere. <laughs> 